Okay, but no, seriously, Miss Mouse, where's the treasure? T tell me! Tell me! Where is it? Oh, it's right up there. I can't get it. Hey there, guys, Luigi Vance here. Welcome back to an episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time, we solved some troubles. And we gained a new party member in Miss Mouse. Our optional party member. In this episode... I just look. I just looked at my menu and I realized I have enough shine sprites to uh, power up someone. So yeah, so we can have Vivian up level up and get fiery Jinx, which is like you know all foes with fire. Or Miss Mouse can do teas, which makes all enemies dizzy. We're upgrading Vivian. Listen, she's the newest party member. <laughs> she's still the newest party member. So we still have to like power her up. We have to give her priority. Sorry, Miss Mouse. Wow, we. All right, cool. So we upgraded our party member. That's step one. Step two, we're going to the thousand year door. Because because it's time to it's time to figure out where to, where we need to go next. So like, you know, we we gotta. Oh God, what's the fastest way? I guess there's not really a fast way, huh? At this point in time, I guess. Yeah, I guess the way I normally come is still the fastest way. All right, let's find out where the next crystal star is. Sweet, we now know where it is, and it looks like it's on an island. We better hurry, don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh yeah, we do need to tell him about the demon. What? That was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon? And those fiends want to use the power of the Crystal Star to resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Hmm, this is rather long, so you best listen well. All of you ready? And you there, in front of the TV, you listen up too. Maybe I'm missing something. Are you, are you talking to no one? Don't worry about it. Oh, never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that I've read about in that book may refer well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood on this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon is defeated in the, uh, in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this I gathered that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either steal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that whoever wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It would be awful if we found them all only to have them stolen for evil purposes. Does anyone think it might be just better to destroy them once and for all? 
That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the Crystal Stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the door will to keep the door the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? The fact that those goons want the stars now may be a may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the Oxnots fail. Oh, I guess we better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Where did we start? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keel Hall Key. Keel Hall Key? I'm not too familiar with the place. I've heard countless written savory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, you know, things like that. Stuff that doesn't make sense for a scientist like me. But I'm sure there are sea salts down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. All right, to the sea salts I go. All right, let's go. We got beat up. That wasn't English. I don't even know what I was trying to do. There's a thing I always do, but that's not a thing I normally do. I don't understand anything anymore. All right, well, anyways, let's explore the harbor. Let's see what people know. Hi. What? Keel Hall Key? Oh, that place is absolutely awful, I've heard. Not long ago, ship after ship went there treasure hunting, but none ever returned. I bet they met the bad end of the Pirate King's Curse. Those guys were dumb. Interesting. Pirate King's Curse. What about you, guy? Keel Hall Key? Oh, you mean the island where the treasure hoard of Cortez, the Pirate King, is hidden? So, you want treasure, eh? Fine, but keep an eye out for the- uh, uh, yeah, Keep an eye out or the Pirate's Curse will get you. Interesting, interesting. How about you, bud? Keel Hall Key? That's the cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake. Hmm. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? There's gotta be a way for just go poof and get rich. You know, poof. Ugh, that's me every day. Oi, you, with the mustache. What's with the stink eye, eh? You got something to say? Right, then ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. I can answer anything. You know about Key Hulky? Oh, Keel Hall Key. Listen, mate, don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. God, everyone doesn't want to go to that place, huh? See that ship docked there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sail too often, though. Mostly he hangs out at Podley's joint in the plaza. Interesting. Well, let's go see what this, um, Flavio character has to say. As I continue to get my, my buttons mixed up. You better get out of here. We need you for your knowledge. And by knowledge, I mean your ability to tattle on people. Now, if I remember correctly, Flavio is hanging out at the inn, right? Somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Just just casually just standing there singing a song, I, I guess. I don't know. That's the entrepreneur, Flavio. He's like super rich and he owns lots of ships. What's he doing in here so early in the day, though? Think he's doing okay? Hey, buddy, what's up? And what do you want, huh? Who, me, you ask about? <laughs> ah, I am called Flavio, I am. How you say? A traitor, the richest man in Rogueport. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth and spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long yet for more, huh? What is missing from my life? That this, te this tears at my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? I don't know, emotion. Emotion, you say, huh? I suppose each life experience must experience some emotion. Yes, the gradual process that forever alters the landscape of life like rain on dirt. Ah, uh, no, foolish Flavio, not erosion, you silly man. What I need is emotion. Wait, hold the horses. That's it. Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard that the treasure Cortez, the Pirate King, Yes! This is the answer! Oh, such happiness for me! A hunt for pirate treasure! 
Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money! Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure hidden on Key Hall Key? Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. The people here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seeks his treasure. Eek! It is, <laughs> it is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Heel Hall Key. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it. For I am Flavio, traitor extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. Okay, can I go? What is that you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure here in Rogueport? Yeah, sure. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing about a stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no! Now, what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. Yeah, here. You're having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Kill Hall Key. You swine! You mean to steal my treasure under me? You awful, awful man. <laughs> Not really. I just want the star. Well, now I am confused. You're looking for things known as the crystal stars? Yeah. But now that I am thinking, a star sheepstone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Ah, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore this business before me, suggest. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Keel Hall Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. That's fine with me, I don't care. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate, foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us prepare preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader, yes, and you will be the captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Tickle your nostrils? What? I don't understand. All right, I'm here at the harbor. What's up? Oh, everyone's here. What's up? All right, fair weather today, eh? Yeah, perfect day to set sail if I do say so. Wouldn't mind a bit if the whole journey blew unfair as today. No siree, Bob. Hi. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm gonna be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave the port. What's up, guy? Uh, pleased to, uh, um, uh, your acquaintance. <laughs> pleased to meet uh, your acquaintance. <laughs> They call that guy Four Eyes. He's one of the sailors coming with us to Keelhaw Key. I totally feel like I've seen him somewhere before, though. Eh, maybe I'm just going nuts. Yeah, he does seem like f the familiar sort. I'm just talking to people. Starboard ho! Port ho! Giant monster blooper ho! I'm just practicing my hoes. I might as well, t I might as well tell you. My brother went to Keelhaw Key and never returned. I get woozy just thinking of it, but I decided to work up my courage and sail there. Good for you. I I always dreamed of the day I leave this town. I don't care if there are pirates or ghosts or undead vampires where we're going. It's gotta be worlds better than this stinkhole. Well, there there's positive, I guess. At last, my dreams will come true. I'm going to open my very own shop on Keel Hall Key. I don't care if it's small and ramshackle. It'll be mine. I just have one slight worry. Keel Hall Key is a deserted cursed island. You think I'll get much foot traffic? Not really. All right, buddy. Ah, yes, so it is you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? 
She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is just not a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Ah, yes. Did you speak? Yes, yes, of course. The problem has sprung up. I had completely forgot about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman they steered ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Keelhaw Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is how you say, a pickle. Oi, Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve our problem. Let's spit it out already. Well, sir, I heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in, Lo in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he said to have the helmsman touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. Basta, boom, problem solved. Let's scout out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. As it is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Then it is decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here or fortune sails with you. Tell me about Papatch. That's Papatch the bob -omb. He's a real salty sailor type. Totally active guy, huh? Yeah, he looks pretty burly too. Gotta love strong go-getters, huh? And he has an eye patch. You, you, he, and he has an eye patch. You can't mess with people with eye patches. All right, well, who loves cliffhangers? I mean, it's not really a cliffhanger. It's just, I just looked at the time and I'm like, oh yeah, I guess it is the end of the episode, huh? So next time I guess we'll look for Bobbery and see if he can join us on our expedition. Gumbella, tell me about this place. This is Rogueport Harbor. Ships come here from all over the world. Everybody's always working their tails off down here. No wonder it's totally sweaty. Sometimes this area is all stacked high with cargo from all the ships. The water smells pretty rank, but that's like the magic of a port town, you know? You know? Kinda have to agree. <laughs>